In 1984, local mortician Dale Patrick Olmsberg became the subject of the most exhaustive criminal investigation in Lincoln County history. Before all was said and done, police would find 16 decomposing bodies in the troubled 34-year-old funeral home owner's basement and numerous other unembalmed and unidentified corpses buried in a nearby graveyard. Sentenced to just 30 days in jail on a series of misdemeanor charges due to lack of legal recourse at the time, the case would revolutionize Oregon crematoria law. Ordered by the courts to actually leave Lincoln County, the financially strapped Vietnam veteran digressed into a wanted sexual assault suspect who would end his own life in 2013 with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head during a police standoff in his South Carolina home. Chapter 1 The Site Pacific View Memorial Chapel in Lincoln City where Highway 101 and Southwest Fleet Street intersect shown. Chapter 2 The Crime an anonymous caller had alerted local authorities that resident Dale Patrick Almsberg, a retired U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant, had committed incomprehensible improprieties at the place of worship he owned. A search warrant was sought for Pacific View Memorial Chapel while police rushed to the chapel to encounter a scene no one should have to encounter. Sadly, one of the police investigators had a deceased family member amongst the chapel bodies found that day. Found in the basement garage of the chapel were 16 unembalmed malodorous bodies stacked like cordwood in plywood boxes rather than the sturdier ones that normally are used for cremation. A couple lie decomposing on body length stainless steel trays. Dealing on what, what bordered on mass hysteria, the Lincoln City Police staged periodic news conferences to address the, pr the press in what transformed into a public spectacle involving Portland TV cameras. Helicopters flew overhead shooting empty grave sites. Reporters from countless newspapers hounded police to answer the same questions over and over again. Finally, an excavation recovered 32 improperly buried bodies from the cemetery, many which did not match the records and the undocumented remains at that time. The DNA profiling was first used and police closed the case in May 1985 with 14 bodies unaccounted for. Chapter 3 The Sentence Despite undergoing multiple polygraphs, interviews, and interrogations, police said Almsberg never fully cooperated. A psychiatric eva evaluation which the district attorney said factored into his negotiations with Almsburg attorney Stephen Lovejoy indicated that the defendant would likely commit suicide if sentenced to the penitentiary. Lovejoy said his penniless client's grisly crimes were prompted by financial stress and a declining mental condition. Almsberg's defense argued that their client's negligent management of accepting nominal fees for those in need failed to generate enough income to overcome his debt. Almsberg was known to bill the poorer families of the county for his services if they could not pay up front, leading to his financial distress, argued Lovejoy. In a written statement read by Lovejoy to reporters after his client's sentencing, Almsberg said, quote, How does one apologize for such a terrible thing that has happened, except to say that I am truly sorry? Question mark. I didn't want it to happen and make no excuses. I hope and pray that you will forgive me. 
end quote. Incredibly, Amsberg pleaded guilty and was released on good behavior after serving just 23 days of a 30-day jail sentence on 60 misdemeanor charges of theft, attempted theft, and abuse of corpse bodies beginning in January 1981. He was ordered to pay $18,400 in restitution to the families whose bodies or cremains could not be found or listed as missing, placed on also five years of probation and ordered out of Lincoln County. Following the sentencing, investigators began excavating the graveyard on East Devils Lake Road in search of the remains of other bodies for which no cremation or burial records could be found. Hypnosis, lie detector tests, and even truth serum was used to get Almsberg to tell, to share his knowledge and provide a map to reveal the locations of the mass graves in which he dumped the bodies. Thirteen locations were excavated and thirty-two bodies were found in three graves, but not where Almsberg said. <laughs>